What up, it's your dog, and I'm here to update my tutorial on VR Chat MMD World Visemes. Uh, just because there was a lot of information that I added to the description in the previous video, and I wanted to kind of just put it all together in one video. Um, so first thing that you have to do is you have to import your FBX or your Blender file uh, and open it in Blender, which is where we are now. Uh, you need to make sure you, that you are in object mode and that you select the mesh that you're working on. In this case, I have body, as that's where my mouth visemes are. Uh, as a quick note about that, uh, the body name is something that I have found that seems to be required. So if your mesh is named something different, uh, you'll either need to change it in Blender or in Unity. Uh, the problem with that can be if you've already been using this model or it is a model that you have purchased, um, there could be animations or things that are tied to that mesh name, and there could be some manual setup and changes that you'll have to do to make those animations work again. Um, something that I've had people tell me that they've done to kind of get around that when their model is not necessarily optimized for it is that they've just created a duplicate version of their model that doesn't really have any animations um, just for MMD worlds. So I believe that does work. Um, so anyway, once you're in object mode and you select your mesh uh, for the body, you're going to go into this green triangle, upside down triangle, which is the object data properties. And that's where all of your shape keys are going to live. What you want to find is your mouth shape keys, namely A, which is AA, E, which is E, uh, IH, which is, I guess, E, eh, and uh, OH and OU. Those are the ones that you're going to want to duplicate. And so what you'll want to do is you'll want to take one. We'll start with ah, ah here. And we're going to turn it all the way up to 100%. And so that is our 100% AA blend shape. Um, and what you're going to do is you're also going to make sure that nothing else in your shape keys is selected at 100%. Because what's going to happen is if you do that, it is going to duplicate that shape key along with the one that you're trying to duplicate and you'll get some weird face deformations. So if you have your AA at 100%, go to this little drop down here, do new shape from mix. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a new shape key right at the very, very, very bottom uh, that is an identical match to that AA shape key. But we're going to turn it to 100 and it's going to get real wild, real wild. And that's just because we still have our AA here selected. Turn that off, it looks normal. And again, that's kind of an example of what happens if you have other shape keys assigned to it when you duplicate it. So once you have this created, all you have to do then is go into here and put in the corresponding hiragana uh, letter that you're wanting to use. So let's go ahead and do that here. So this is AA, which is A. I just type in ah, uh, and there we go. And then I save that, and that's, oh, I've had, I already have one, so it put this 0 .001, but you just don't want that. So then another thing that people have told me that they're wanting to get some detail on is which Visime goes with which Hiragana character. You can see mine here. Ah, uh, e, u, e, o. Oh, wait, no. No, I did do that. I, I'm just stupid. I'm just stupid. Sorry about that. So in my experience, what matches up is AA is your A. So that's the A in Hiragana. The E sound for Hiragana is actually the IH. And so what I did when I was figuring this out is I was looking at the mouth shape and whatever mouth shape seemed to match the sound that it was supposed to make, in this case, E, that's the one I picked. Uh, and then uh, you have your U, which is actually O U. See, U. And then you have E, which is actually your E. So you can see E. And then also O, which is, thankfully, O. And that's it. So once you have those Visemes set up, you can go ahead and export your FBX, get it back into your Unity package, 
Um, I do also recommend making a backup of your Unity package before doing this, especially if you're editing or changing that mesh name, just so that way, if something does go wrong or if your animations break or something like that, you have a backup version of your uh, Unity package before you've made any of these changes. As always, thank you for watching. Hope this helps. Um, feel free to post in the description if you have any other questions or anything, and I will try to help, though I am not an expert. Thank you, everyone. Bye.